Hello guys, welcome, welcome to this very special episode of Diamond Duos. My name is Amiri Majorwal, I am your host tonight and I shall show you how to play Smite, how to play Conquest in the duo lane as Cupid and Kumba Corner, as I call them. This is actually one of my very, very first duos that I discovered because they both have a, have a strong CC in their kits, these two gods. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna show you how they work together, but first we're gonna see see the kit of each god. Welcome to Kumba Karna, the sleeping giant. His passive is called Sleepy. Whenever someone kills him, he does not die. He goes into sleep. If they still if they hit him enough during the sleep, he will actually die. If they don't, he will come back to life with 25% HP. And you better get out at that time. His first active is called Throwback, and for me this is Trollback. <laughs> It's a dash. Uh, anyone that hits any enemy is going to do damage. If it hits a minion, it's going to do damage. And throw the minion in a straight line, hitting everything in its path and also doing more damage than it initially would with only the dash. His second skill is called Groggy Strike. This is his root. It takes a while to charge up, but he throws it out in front of him. And it's an AoE root that does a little bit of damage as well. Very useful if he has time to charge it up. Third skill is Mighty John. This is Mesmerize. Anyone who gets awoken by the Mesmerize gets lower attack speed and movement speed than they normally would have. Also, he can use it during his passive. So whenever he's like sleeping and almost dying, he will just Mesmerize them and they should not get those hits in. That is the plan. And then he will come back to life, of course. His ultimate is called Epic Epic Hut. And basically he throws up an enemy in the air. They take damage uh, when it hits them, they take damage when they land, and any enemy who is also there when they land gets knocked up and gets damaged as well. So if you can get this one going, it's super trollish, it's super fun. Let's get to Love the Boy himself. Cupid, as I shall star as, his love struck passive. He stacks up damage with each hit he does on an enemy or a minion. When he um, has eight stacks, and it's either his heart bomb or his ultimate. They're gonna apply one second stun at the end instead of a mesmerize, uh, as it normally is for the ultimate. His first skill, heart bomb, as I mentioned, he throws. This is a great poke, poke skill. He throws it out a minion. It takes a little while to to explode after on a timer. When it does explode, it does AB damage to the target and anyone who is close to it. And if he does have the full stacks, it will also apply a stun, AB stun to all of them. So pretty, so pretty. Also, if he throws in a minion that's about that that is dying, well, it insta explode. Also very useful in lane. Share the love is his second skill, his second active skill. He throws out hearts. He heals himself. He heals allies, and he gets mana back if there are any allies. There. To pick up those three hearts. His third skill, Flutter! This is a dash. Also, it leaves a trail of hearts behind it. Any ally who goes in the trail will have increased movement speed. Also, Cupid gets increased attack speed as he uses this one. So, whenever he's about to box someone, Flutter away and then get going with it. His ultimate is called Fields of Love. It's a big area effect that he throws out that cripples and slows anyone within it. If they're still in there after a certain timer where it pops, they take damage and they get mesmerized. But if you have the full stacks, they get stunned instead, right? So pretty, so useful. That is how the skills work now. How do they work together, you might ask? Well, I'm about to show you that. If you've been on my page, so you scroll down to the guide section right here, you press my guide. You end up here, and this is the Holy Grail with all the infos. Cupid and Kumba Karna. We're gonna look at main combo B today. Main combo B, it starts with Kumba using his ultimate on any enemy. Cupid then throwing his ultimate out with the uh, this love fields that's about to tick. Um, about to pop underneath this person, so whenever they do get back from the throwdown, they have both been knocked up damage and then like landing damage. And hopefully also taking damage from the ultimate of Cupid. And if they have any any pals around them, Cupid the Kumba will mesmerize them so that they stay within Cupid's ultimate. And also when this ally lands, they will take that damage. Whenever uh, Cupid does see them land, he will use his heart bomb to hit the enemy who came down. 
came down and they should be dead by this point. They should be very, 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 very dead at this point. Kumba also has time after his mesmerize to start charging up his root. That will make sure that any enemy who is still in that area will stay there and not get away. That is the plan. As if that was not enough, Cupid and Kumba also have their dashes available to try to finish off any enemy who is trying to leave the site. We're not going to allow. All right. That is the combo. That is how it works. But I am excited to show you guys how this works in game. All right, my friends. Are you ready? We will shall queue this up. Let's queue it up. It's on. With us today, we have some music from a Swedish electronic duo called uh, Boss Fight. You might have heard me mention them before. <laughs> if you like them, follow them on SoundCloud or on their Twitter, Boss Fight, S W E, as in Sweden. Sweden, gotta support the motherland. <laughs> Now they're cool. We're gonna see if they can carry us to victory. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Cupid is uh, known a lot like an early, early game god. He's also known as the killer of Shibalanke, <laughs> which is another. <laughs> Another, uh, another, another <laughs> reputation he has by himself. Um, if you build him right, you can actually keep him th online through all the game. All right, we got a game. Let's do it. Call your rolls. Put them cues. There we go. Ooh, so pretty when it all works out like this. What more can you ask for? So yes, the way I build Cupid is that um, kind of be ahead, stay ahead. He's known to be very strong early on. I want to keep him strong. So I actually cut some corners to get some early crit going for his part. It's mostly just about getting... Uh, when you have crit, you want enough attack speed to accommodate it. So it's mostly about building some damn base damage, building some attack speed, and then getting them crit online. And then we shall kill them. As usual, I have a utility build or like damage life skill build to choose to choose between. Utility build gives more mana. But since Cupid has a uh, mana sustain in his hearts that can be picked up by an ally and give more more mana back than it costs him to throw them. And also I usually offer a mana potion. Um I'm actually gonna go life skill damage build instead of the utility we should have enough to get all those skills off that is the plan we see the yetai kumbakarna it has a skin but it is a diamond we gotta carry on the diamond duo tradition <laughs> and we shall be facing a Huyi and a Sylvanas in duel lane. I'm looking forward to that. They will also have good sustain, having the Sylvanas both having heal and his flowers giving uh, mana sustain. So it's like the one that's never gonna leave this lane. Um, also, whenever if Huyi is ult is um, being ultimate by, by Kumba. He can throw his own ultimate down as he lands, if he has enough time to do so. However, I think he will try to opt for the dash first, which he can't use because he's going to be crippled. So we'll we'll just see how he goes with that. But it's, it's good to know he might do that. One thing that's really important whenever you play an ADC is the time it takes for your leap skills. Rom's leap is like instant. Shibalanki's leap skill is instant. Cupid's Cupid's quick, Apollo's quick. Um Honor is really slow. Puyi's is is alright. It's alright, I suppose. So hopefully uh we should be able to get this guy. 
It's probably uh, not far from not far from Cupid and Apollo. Also, Neath has a pretty instant backflip. But I like them. I like those heroes. I don't play Raw much though. Should maybe maybe an episode that's gonna come out later. <laughs> Oh, we gotta disconnect. I hope they will come back so we get a good game in here. They should, though. It's pretty common with disconnect this early. It's the Zeus that is their mid laner. I do assume the home boss is gonna go solo. And this boy is going to jungle. But hey, curse your things have happened. You late, yo? Are you doing red pot? Yes, yeah. he is doing red pot. That is why he's coming at this point. Buddy here is going for early kills, and early out pushing, and early mid camps, and all all the fun. Okay, oh, don't go for me. Sorry. Oh, you got it though. It's good. Thank you for a second. Thor, oh, what are you doing? Okay, give it back. Give it back. Give it back. Is a Thor mid? Okay, I I I know why. Uh, Zeus AFK, so Thor is the middle now. A lot of minion. Oh, he's so low, yo! Just hit him! Oh, shit, shit, shit! <laughs> minion hurts! Minion hurts in this game. <laughs> he was so low, I could not resist. Sorry, I could not resist. <laughs> I'm coming soon, I'll heal you. Don't hit the tree, he's range and he has heal. And roots and pulls and nasty stuff. Actually, don't have my heal yet, so I'll scratch that. But soon, soon. I'll use a aggro. Get out, I'll clear this. Okay. Nice. Here you go. That's for you, my friend. Can't flirt, flirt. Oh, it hurts. Oh, rip. Uh, took, cost me a lot of mana to dash, but I didn't want to take the minion damage. Mars out. I'm getting low on mana if I take this. Good poke, good poke. The bonus, yeah, sorry, he's missing. Yeah, he's losing, uh, he can't lane clear on himself. So, I have my ult soon. Here. As you guys see, I am. Um... I only heal whenever my stacks are down. So that I don't lose stun all the time. I have my ult. 
That's the Kumo, that's Mayo, that's the Heart Bomb, that's the Miss, he is dead. We almost overdid it! That's the combo, that poor guy didn't get much support. Um, I have enough for my gloves soon. After this way, I'm leaving. I'll keep my dash in case someone comes. I do feel sad for them missing a player, it's just not... I usually should go, but... I guess get the point. I'm really not doing a tower damage at this point anyway. Let's get them gauntlets on and a ward, because wards win games. Maybe two wards. Oh. Two wards for an enemy team missing a player. Red's almost up. Got it. Damn, I want to take camp. I don't know my ult anyway. I can hear you if you need it. Pick them up, pick them up. Thank you. That's my awesome support. Knowing exactly how to do and when to do it. Damn it! I just be I think he's taking his buff, you wanna take him? Oh my god, I feel so bad. You have your ult? I have my ult. Okay, that's a good ult, that's my ult, that's a heart bomb! Like, even if he gets away, heart bomb should finish that. Yep. Oh, hello, Can you sexy. Help me do my red? Can you help me do my yeah, red? Yeah, yeah, take the hearts, we'll do it for you. These poor people! Enemy. Having so much fun in solo lane. Who's gonna carry them late? We shall attack the Go Fury then, because they're all uh, over there. At five minutes. Do it. Dude, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. They won't have the timer though. So it's both. <laughs> right, we missed the three minute timer. Okay, I'm actually not gonna tank this anymore. Yo. <laughs> what the hell? Oh shit, 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 it's shit, 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 shit. <laughs> I'm leaving. That shit hurt. It's gonna cost me a lot of mana and stuff to get back while my support left too. And hey, here's a wave, so I'm not leaving. I'm just gonna make sure not to die. Mm-hmm. Let's be careful, I don't wanna get it. Well mine's not. In five seconds soon. Four, two. Okay, it's ready, it's ready, it's ready. Retreat, retreat. So sad for this guy, he's not getting any support. <sighs> yeah, that's how you do it. That's the combo. Combo all up. Do I need a ward? No. Keep it all underneath as soon as possible so that it has ticked as long as possible when he lands. Harp bomb on them whenever they do land. They should be crippled. Yeah, full stacks, they should get stunned. They should not be able to leave after my ultimate. Damn it. Handbats coming left. We don't have any visibility soon. Let's get out. I can buy some items. They're all missing middle. They're probably trying Force to do something with us. It's typical when you, when you haven't given attention to a lane, you come and now you're gonna gank all of them and you're gonna try and make up for it. My ult's not up. Um, actually, don't know what they're doing. They're not. They're not showing themselves here. I shall go get my um, boots because I want to stay ahead. I want the red. Can't sit down, turn down XP. Okay, I'm serious. Well, oh, Shang is in trouble. I have my ult again. Yes, we're doing it. I don't know stacks, but that's fine. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Hand, hand out, hand out. 
Oh, he'll die. die. He'll die. He'll die. Um. Okay, now I'm really out of mana. You guys can probably take a tower. Well, you're solid. You'll take it yourself. Whoa! So early. Early executioners. You have kills, so what you can do. See the tower damage that Saul's doing? Ouch. Ouch. I do have my ultimate again. What tower? <laughs> oh my god, the ADC and all the way in right lane. Well, soon we can go there to kill him if you want. Nah, oh, Shang, I got it. Hopefully. Like, take a tree first. It should be easy. He doesn't He doesn't know what's coming to him. Because he hasn't seen us, right? Oh my god, this poor guy. He doesn't know what he's cutting us up into. No! No! I mean, he, he's tried to ult to get CC immunity, but... No, I'm but that's the Kumba's root. That's my attack speed. It's my heart bomb. I missed the heart bomb. He's not getting out though. Don't miss your heart bombs. That could have been a fatal mistake in any other game. Soon pick it up, please. Please, please, please get up. All them towers. Yeah, the point with this, or the idea with this one. Is for them just to not have a chance to do stuff because you want if you get stuns and mesmerizes in, they can't act. If they get root, it's not as strong because they can they can still dash out of roots. But if you rely on stuns, ooh, maybe it's more even now. Maybe we're gonna get a game. Well, it's a little bit late for that. Maybe at this point we should just start rotating. Behind us! Behind us! Behind us! You have to take tower, 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 tower. I don't have my ultimate. Good call though. Oof. Rep. They shut me down. I was being greedy. Oh, we didn't have a ward to be honest. So we earned, we deserved that. I even had a ward I did not place. It's fine though. I thought it was actually only level 7. It's a bit bad! It's 1 and 1 though. <laughs> Alright, uh, Gold Fury. If you guys can- I'll, I'll be on my way, I'll be there in a second. Getting in the corners, get my Executioner. Nice, buddy. Who's back? Oh, I'll see you. Arthur. They're still missing their, um, Zeus. The longest time I had no idea how to pronounce that. Zeus. And some hearts. Oops, picked them up myself. To greed, to greed. Take them, take them. Peace, peace. Okay. Alright, where are we gonna go now? Mid? What do you want to do, Sim? You're gonna leave! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have much, many more targets in my lane, so this is time to rotate. Red's up. Oh shit, you're not there. I'll leave it. See, my ult's ready and my heart's stacked up! Looking for a target, let's do this. Shanga is like 1v5ing. Oh shit, she's in trouble, she doesn't know it all. I need to stack up again. I wasted it all, wasted it all! That's the virus? Virus. Good job. That's our Thor. Shang is like, I'll tank this! I am a healer! I have built like protections and stuff. Or maybe just... Uh, I think we can take it. We got minions now, we got minions now. I should heal myself. Five stacks. Oh shit! I have my ult, I have my ult! Good job. Don't want none of that. Come 
up, pick them up. We're gonna do fire giant. All right, that's it. That's the end of the game. Well, guys, um, I hope you guys saw what we were doing oh, there. What? Oh my god, I hate when someone does that. I hate when someone Excuse does that. Hey, I'm not the easy at the end. <laughs> Good. So that was the karma, guys. That's how it looks like when you play Kupin and Kumakarna. We had an easy time today. It's not as easy normally, but if you do it right, you will get it. So, reiterate. Kuma starts ulting, keep it throws his ult underneath as soon as possible to let it take as long as possible. If there's any, any enemies, Kuma's gonna mess them. Cupid's gonna throw the uh, heart bomb on it on the enemy that comes down again. They will be all be hit by the ultimate, they will be crippled and all that stuff. He does wake them up though when he heart bombs them, so just just know that just know that that they will be able to uh, to to dash out of that. And as if that was not enough, Kuma has an ult and he starts charging up just after his mez or his ult and uh, yeah two dashes left to finish them off if you want to and that's what it looks like hope you guys had fun hope you guys were inspired thank you all for watching check more of my episodes if you like me check my new facebook page subscribe my twitter check my youtube follow me there and all those those things and hopefully i will see you guys next week right 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 <laughs> Alright, take care guys.